Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of excited to do this video today because it's gonna have a little bit of Christmas tour in there. It's gonna have um, a Kato waffle. It's gonna have some Kato coffee. Um, some of you may pronounce that different, but that's just the way I say it. Um, but anyway, the first thing that we're gonna start out with is the Kato waffle. We're gonna put ham, egg, and cheese. And I use just a little bit of olive oil to go on the waffle maker. Um, but yeah, this turned out really good. The only thing with this is I would recommend cooking it just a little bit longer. It calls for like two minutes, two and a half minutes. I would leave it on there until it's a little bit more firm um, because it didn't really want to come off that good, but it turned out really good. This Catogenic Coffee has that MCT oil in there and it's really healthy for you. Um, I use the Kato Coffee and then I use the Catogenic Creamer that they have. And then I have the Almond Breeze Milk that I add to that and it makes it a more of a latte flavor. Um, it's really good, it's really healthy for you. It, to me, it makes me feel a whole lot better than just regular coffee. It gives me more energy. It's like I'm more focused and it's really healthy for you. So I do highly recommend this coffee. If you guys remember in my last video, I had been working on this Christmas tree farmhouse sign. Well, I finally got it done. It took me a little bit. I had some extra leftover stuff from last year and some of these pine cone branches I had picked up at Walmart and um, I was just gonna work with them and try to see how I wanted it to go. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. I found that after I had put it together, um, it still needed something to me on the upper left hand side. So I found this wreath at Walmart and I liked the wreath. I just didn't care much for the bow that was on it together with the wreath, if that even makes sense. So I ended up taking the bow off and adding it to my Christmas tree sign. And I actually like the uh, wreath better without it. And I actually use that in my kitchen later on and I'll show you that later.
If you look down in the bottom of this video on the right hand side, you can actually tell that I did not have my farmhouse sign done in this picture. I wanted to go ahead while my dining room was halfway picked up um, just to go ahead and get this footage in here for you. Um, I, I love the way it turned out, all the colors and just, I, I love that. It's not really vintage, it's just the, the old, you know, farmhouse style. That's what I really like. That's what I'm really into. This manger scene I've had ever since I got married. My husband's grandmother, um, she gave this to me. We had showed up at her house unexpected and I told her how much I love this manger scene and the next thing I knew she had boxed it up and she said, this is y'all's. This is what I wanna give to you for your very first Christmas. And so I have been tickled with it ever since. I pretty much put it out every year. Um, it is absolutely my favorite manger scene. I felt like the wreath in here in the dining room needed just a little bit of color to it. So I had some extra berries and I throw those in there and I like the way that it turned out. Gave it, you know, a little bit of a pop to it. I want to take just a moment to show you some of the Dollar Tree um, gift bags that they have out this year. Uh, I love them. It's like the woodland theme. That's kind of the theme that I went this year with my Christmas tree. You're going to see that in just a minute. Um, but the deers, the red trucks, the, the plaid bags, I, they just, I love them. And, and you can't beat the price. I mean, a dollar. If you go anywhere else, it's three, four, five, you know, for a gift bag. And these are a dollar. And I mean, look at them. They're a great size. I love the way my fireplace turned out this year. Like I said, I wanted more of that um, farmhouse style, the reds, the more green, the berries. I love that. These red candlesticks that I got on here, they actually came from Bells. I got them at a, a clearance sale after Christmas. I only paid like a couple bucks a piece for um, and the Christmas tree this year, of course, I went with that woodland theme. My owls at the top, I got those from um, Home Goods. Actually, the first time I went in Home Goods, matter of fact. Um, and this was part of their fall decor, and it was like 75% off. So I, was, I snagged those suckers. I was like, I will use those on my Christmas tree because I had this woodland theme that I kept thinking about all year this year and that's what I was going with. So anyway, if you look on my tree as I show you along the way, I will be um, picking up some of the jar looking ornaments. A lot of those I threw together myself. I put in some of the fake snow, the berries, and I love the one that looks like a barn. Um, that was actually a Christmas card that I had cut out and I stuck down in this ball and added some fake snow, some more fake berries. Um, in one of the jars you will see I put buttons in and that looked more 
farmhouse vintage grandma, you know, something that she would do. So, yeah, that's what I came up with this year. I like the way it turned out. I hope you do too. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go over my Christmas tree like crazy mad with you guys because I was totally obsessed with my Christmas tree this year. I love the way it turned out. And even some of the brown paper bag looking ornaments you see, those I actually got from Walmart. Um, over in the craft section, they had the brown little bag. Um, it, it's something that you can put like a little note card in. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. But anyway, I, I took those and I added some of the ribbon and some of the berries and I liked the way it turned out. It looked like a brown paper package wrapped up, you know. Um, but I do love the way that turned out. So I like to have like a little coffee station cookie bar during the holidays. So I found this red barn at Walmart and then I had some cookies. I like the Oreo lemon um, and the Pepperidge Farm has a variety pack and they're really good. We like to use those too. Um, so basically I just threw this together, nothing fancy, um, but I do like the way that it turned out. I ended up hanging this wreath that I got at Walmart. 
um, above my kitchen sink. I like the way that it turned out. And then I had this little soap dish that I picked up, the farmhouse, you know, red truck with a Christmas tree on there. This actually was with a bathroom set, but I was like, there's no reason that I can't use it in my kitchen. So I threw that in there and I, and I love the way it turned out. I don't like a lot of stuff on my counters. So this worked out perfect. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.